there's a lot of things that people don't know about patrol, like the paperwork. There's a ton of paperwork, and I guess if you come out here thinking it's all fun and games, then you're going to be a little disappointed because there's a lot of paperwork behind everything. So when the fun's over, we still have reports to write to get everything taken care of. 97. Negative all advice. Temporal advice should be en route. Oh, we're en route to cover Deputy uh, Garcia on a call of, uh, actually a report of domestic violence. The alleged suspect is uh, going to meet us here at the station, station 62, which is our substation, um, to give her side of the story. But chances are she is going to be arrested and uh, she has the potential for being violent. So he requests a backup unit just in case things go wrong. And the other unit just got here. I don't see the forerunner yet, so it's possible she's not here yet, but we'll go ahead and park and wait for her. Hi, are you Aretha? Yeah. Hey, Aretha. Um, what's, going on? what's going on? I called you guys because I'm having a problem with you. And I've had this problem many times before. Okay, he's called the cops on me many times. Okay. Garcia and... Look at Danny. Okay. He's called the cops many times to have me false arrested. Okay. I'm not going to do that anymore. I sit around and I wait for the cops to come to listen to my side of the story, and they never do. They just take me to jail for nothing. Okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? And I'm not going to deal with that anymore because I feel like the police are being biased because he's lied on me so many times. He has done so much stuff. My mom came with me. Okay, this last incident, when was it? Um, today. No, it, it wasn't. It wasn't. Uh, nothing happened. Okay. But I'm afraid that something is going to happen. Okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay, he's... Aretha, he already filed a, a report and he filed charges against you for that. For... <laughs> Behind the car wash, female. Get down on the ground. Get down on the ground right now. You guys. Six fall x ray. I've got the female detained. Get on the stomach. You have anything on you that I need to know about? No. My, can you guys, my mom's over there? Can you please tell her? <whistles> See, this is the problem. Thank you. I haven't patted her down yet. Five code four. Females do ten. Does that have anything on me? Policy code four, can I put eighteen? Hey, friend. Hello. Yes, sir. Take her straight to sixty. Got anything on you that we need to know about? No. Spread your legs. Spread your legs. I can't believe this. I didn't even do nothing to him. Nothing. That's why I want to see you guys. I didn't do nothing to him. He keeps putting me in jail. You guys, please stop. Stop. She's stop. Up heart. Okay, relax. We'll go talk to your mom right now. You should have considered that before you ran. Sir, because I'm tired of going to jail. Okay. Well, you're going again. Okay, she's clear. We're going to transfer her into his car. We're going to go ahead and follow them down to the station until they get her statement, her side of the story, and booked into custody. You know, she, as soon as she found out that her husband filed a report and that she was a suspect, my guess is she just didn't want to go back to jail. I'll meet you in the... Can you tell me about the incident today in your apartment with your husband? He's not my husband. There was no accident. It was just an argument. It was an argument? Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, were you there when he called the sheriff's department? You know? um, he grabbed the phone, but I don't know what he was doing. Okay. I well, see him on the phone, but I was still yelling at him. Okay. Did you spit in his face? No, I did not. Yeah. I did not spit in his face. Well, if, if you knew that he was calling us, why don't you stick around so I could get your side of the story? No, because every time he's called the police, I've gone to jail. The last time he called the police on February 10th, it, I did me no good. I went to jail. I stuck around, and I thought about leaving, but that doesn't mean I'm guilty. 
who with all these domestic violence issues, you've been arrested four times. Yes. This is going to be the fifth time. Right. Okay. He's been arrested how many times? Once. Once. And nothing ever happened to me. So, he, so he that, me that's five incidents happened. that we've had between you guys yeah. with domestic violence. Yeah. Why stay under the same roof if you're divorced? Why? Well, because at the time, in, just in September, I found out we're really, really divorced. Um, do, do you have any questions about what happened? Do, do you understand that domestic, obviously you've been arrested four times for it. Do you really understand the domestic violence law? What I don't understand, sir, is the outcome, you guys just take his word and there's no evidence. I, that's that's uh, what I don't, that's I'm what I'm not there. Explaining. The law requires me to take I know, whatever the aggressor sir, is. I understand that, but you don't, but, but what I'm saying is that I've called the sheriffs on him before when I had to, okay, and they didn't do nothing. And there was clearly evidence. He pushed me. He pushed me. I don't want the cops in my business. I could have called the police. And you probably should have. And the long and short of this is, is that in domestic violence, the state now gets involved. We don't leave it up to you and we don't leave it up to the husband. Okay, so we listen to your side of the story and we listen to his side of the story. And basically in the short time that we talked to you, what you said was nothing happened. It was just an argument. And in talking to him, what he claims is that you push and you spit on him. Whether that means you're guilty or he's guilty, that's for your day in court. That's not a the way we come up with that determination is he's alleging that you did something and you're saying nothing happened. And we must so because take some of action. that, we have to do something. This time will be a misdemeanor instead of a felony like your last arrest. Okay? Sir, can I please just phone? I mean, just make one quick phone call. It's going to be a couple of minutes. He's yeah. going to finish his paperwork. They're going to get you out of here. And your mom's already aware of where you are because we've already spoke with her. So anybody who really needs to know already knows where you're at. Okay? Okay. You have a good day. Good luck with everything. Thank you.